What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I am with Johnny, my good friend Johnny who runs Stars Monte Carlo Garage that you guys know very well because we have filmed a lot of cars from there. But I think this is maybe the most special, rare and potentially expensive car we've filmed together. This is an original AC Cobra. <laughs> AC Cobra, 1964 the chassis was built, in 1965 it was sent to the US yeah. to get finished off by, by Shelby where they put in the engine, the gearbox, the diff. I mean it's a beauty this thing and the spec on it, I mean I don't even know if you really speak about spec with old because this is a race car, effectively, from back in the day. Effectively, yeah, it's a, it's a race car. They have been built mostly for racing. Yeah. Um, this has been, in the, still in the 60s, has been updated with these extra fenders. Yeah. So this is an... Oh, so these... Is yeah. this what we're talking? Yeah. yeah. Correct. So a little wider. The Liberty Walk kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, they ha uh, when it came out, it was, they were smaller. And then there was a kit by Shelby to make it a little bit wider, which made the uh, wheel track wider as well. Got you. And um, still fully original and still has been done uh, before 1970. So uh, it has been uh, rebuilt uh, exactly on that uh, spec, how yeah. it has, been, has yeah. been done in 1968. Yeah, very cool. And I mean, having an original Cobra like this, I mean, I don't know how many there are. Do you know? Uh, do we know how many there are in the world? Because yeah. this is a this is a rare car. Yeah, I, if I'm not mistaken, they produced 438 of these okay. at the time. Yeah. And about I would say at least 100 got destroyed. So we're talking about just over 300 uh, remaining in the world. Most, most in collections. Most in collection. Well, I would say many are in collections and a few are still out there somewhere in a barn and I rarely also looking through all the uh, auctions and things like that rarely have there been any in the in this condition yeah yeah and also just so gorgeous I mean the interior is it looks brand new in this car um, you've got you've actually got a much more racy bucket seat than the passenger yeah that's correct yeah and this is uh, just the way they were built at the time yeah because they, they, they the passenger seat was there so that you could take somebody yeah. for a little ride yeah but as you say it was a race car so you needed like a proper racing seat and what is really special about this car is that the racing seat uh, so the the inside of it is it's original uh, the steering wheel is is the original one wow uh, we even have the original aluminium tank inside it just the foam has been changed yeah obviously all the parts on this car are really really original um, what had to be changed to get a uh, fiat spec nowadays yeah was the roll bar yeah we still have i mean the the car when they start the restoration it had the original roll bar but <clears throat> to be able to do historical races nowadays it, it had to be rebuilt on the same design but with a stronger steel. Oh, uh, okay. Because the original steel was too soft and would not protect you in case of rollover. Okay, okay. So that's one of the things you just, let's say, legally had to change. But yeah, you forget how kind of small and compact these cars are as well. Every time I'm next to a classic, you realize that they're, I mean, they're tiny. It's really not very wide. It's fairly long. And these things are notoriously sort of uh, tricky to drive. Rear wheel drive, a lot of, how much power do we have in this? We have 480 horsepower now after the, after it's, the engine has been rebuilt. Yeah. The engine has, I think, uh, less than a hundred, uh, than a thousand kilometers since rebuilt. I think we're around 500 kilometers. Wow, I mean, Obviously it's beast. A, yeah, it's a beast. It's a V8 uh, American style. Of engine. course, naturally aspirated. Naturally. You're not going to have something like this uh, uh, with a turbo on it. No. And it sounds nuts. And we have the quiet exhaust on right so this one is a little bit more muffled but as you will see in fact let's jump into it now and go for a drive this thing sounds insane so the car has been started yeah you can close the door thank you everyone it's very loud so we've got this little hairy thing here to 
attempt to get sound so you guys can hear us. This is gonna be quite something, driving an AC Cobra around Monaco. We've got the cameras ready. Right, let's do this. What a noise! I don't know if they're gonna be able to hear us at all. Yeah, I hope. But we'll give it a go. What an experience. It's pretty um small in here. I mean with it being an old race car and all, but it is quite something. It's so classy, like all of the chrome around the wind windscreen. There's no mirror on this side. We have a central mirror. Yeah. But it, it's not so easy to drive obviously without the mirror on the right side because you never know if somebody is. So I can be your mirror on the yeah. right side. I'll look I'll yeah. look back. Luckily you have no nothing in your view if you turn around so you have a good view when yeah. you turn around a bit. Yeah, so I mean real 
real race car. What have we got over here? We got a Phantom, oh, 812 GTS and 918. So yeah, I mean, what an experience to drive this. Thank you so much for letting us kind of experience this because it's not every day at all that you get to see one of these. I mean, what an animal. 